one of the things I want to provide as part of this training course is some good tricky examples of problems that real people are facing and wanting to solve with Power Query or Power BI. This is an example of a problem that I found on community.powerbi.com. T. Walsh asked this question, how is it possible to identify a customer that's had a previous ticket and he wanted to know if that customer had a ticket open in the previous seven days. So here is a sample of the data that T. Walsh provided and you can see that it has a case ID. It's not clear whether this case ID is always getting larger over time so we'll assume that it's not. We have a unique customer column and open date and a close date. So this problem is tricky for a couple of reasons. Um, firstly, there's multiple customers in the one table, so it's not just as simple as finding the previous record. Um, but we do need to find the previous record for each individual customer within this table in chronological order. And we then we need to check whether the new record for each customer passes the test. And, and in this case, the test is, is the open date for the new record less than seven days after the close date of the previous record. So this is a good little tricky example and I'm going to show you how to solve that now in Power Query. I'm going to do this exercise in Excel 2016 and here's the sample data I had on the screen a moment ago. Of course the first thing is to load the data into Power Query. So I'll take a new query from table and here we have the data loaded in Power Query. I'll just resize the screen so that everything fits in a more compact way. You'll note it's very common for Power Query to automatically detect the data types for each of the columns. I think that's fine in this example. So what I'd like to do to be able to solve this particular problem is I'd like to be able to identify for each customer which was the first ticket for the customer, which was the second ticket, which was the third ticket, and so on. Before I can do anything else, I need to first make sure that this data is sorted in the correct order. So I'm going to sort by customer first, and then sort by open ticket date. And notice how Power Query takes the first sort order, and then within the first column, it sorts the second column. That's slightly different to the way it's done in Excel, but it's quite a good way for Power Query to manage this. The next thing I'm going to do is add an index column. So I have a unique identifier for each row in this table. The next thing I need to do is I would like to match this second row back with the first row so that I can compare the opening and closing dates between those two records. One easy way to do that is I'll add a second index column. This time I'll start the index from zero. And note how row one and row two now have a matching index number which is offset by one row. So this column is actually the previous record. And so if I'm looking at record two, the index is two and the previous record is record number one. Now that I have this data format, I can join the table back to itself doing an internal join. So in order to do that, I'll click on the home menu and I'll combine with a merge query. And in this case, I'm going to merge this table with itself. As I previously mentioned, this row here, the second row, is called ID2, and the previous record was number one. And so what I'd like to be able to do is to bring the close date from the previous record and make it appear on the right-hand side of this current record. And so I need to join on these columns so that the previous record information will be available on the same row. I'm just going to increase the size a bit here. I don't need these index columns anymore, so I'll just remove those. And now I'm going to extract the data. I need to extract the customer name and the close date from the previous record. Now just to validate, you can see that for this second record, the customer is ABC. 
The previous record was customer ABC closing on the 2nd of the 5th, and that's correct. For this row here, the customer is XYZ. The previous record was customer ABC closing on the 28th of the 5th, so that's also correct. Okay, so now we have this information. Let me rename this. So now I'm clear what that record refers to. And now what I need to do is write a custom formula that will tell me whether this particular record has been opened within the last seven days and if it's for the same customer. To do this, I'm going to add a custom column and use a simple if statement. So the first thing I need to check is, is the customer still the same customer? So if the customer equals the customer from the previous record, and I have a second test, which is if the open date of this record subtract the previous close date is less than or equal to seven, then it is a repeat ticket. Else, I'll just return null. Now, this is saying that there's an error. I'm going to check out what the error is. Whoop. Now it says there's no error. However, when I put this formula, it's, you can see that it is returning an error. And if I click on this error message, you'll see that it basically says you can't use this number comparison between dates. This is something that you can do in Excel, but you can't do it currently in Power Query. So I need to go back into this formula and I need to turn this comparison of dates into an integer telling me how many days are there between these two dates. And I happen to know that the formula is duration.days, open bracket, And if I click OK now, you can see that that formula works. So now my custom column has correctly identified that the second row and the fourth row are repeat tickets and all of the other tickets are not repeat tickets. Now that I have this information I need, I can remove these other columns and I can rename this one and I'll call it ticket flag and simply close and load it to Excel.